Okay, Mr. Dave here. So when we have our piece of paper down here and we've got our tracing paper over that and I got my eraser and I got my pencil and so we just start from the top and work our way down And if you're not sure what you're drawing, you flipped it up and you just sort of see what it is. Okay, so that's a palm tree. We got a lot of a lot of palms going on up here. And you just sort of make a lot of different movements and shadows and things. So you just keep working the page and you see what kind of stuff is going on on there. And you just keep peeling the page back and forth. This is a pretty darn dark <coughs> uh, leaded pencil so we're going to get a lot of good shadows there. A lot of good lines. Just pull it back. See what you got. Got lots of palm fronds over here. Going crazy. You just just let it let it rip. Let me see how we have our our rock down here. And so I'm going to switch to a harder tipped lead pencil. And you just want to follow our rocks. What is going on over here? Hmm. And also don't have to push too hard. Keep it kind of light. Just keep pulling the page back. It's a big rock here, but it's covered up with a big palm frond from a plant nearby, which <coughs> I don't want to. I don't want to see that, so I'm just gonna keep it out of there and just keep this rock being as it is. Your eye will complete the the design it'll fill in the gaps so you don't have to you don't have to be absolutely dialed in on every minute little thing you can almost just imply things and then you'll have you'll have the uh, design outlined the way you need it to be There's a stone in the back I can see. It's going back that way. Also again, I'm not putting all the plants in just yet. Just trying to get the approximate waterfall layout. Big boulder here. He's bouncing back and forth. And you're gonna be putting in something else so you can you can erase and reposition things. Notice right here I'm putting the line straight across. I'm not putting in the plant quite yet. So that's starting to give us our our bouldering. There's a lot of plants back in here, but I know I can tell that the actual water feature is back up here, the rocks themselves, even with all the plant material. OK, 
Okay, so starting to get an approximate idea of where the waterfall goes. Now it fits in there. Okay, so that's our waterfall. And we see I'm not drawn in here yet. <coughs> have lots of lots of green up here. So what you can do, instead of spend a whole, you know, you spend half the day just drawing all these details, you can just sort of rough in what stuff is. I know there's some big birds that coming in are coming in here. And so I'm just kind of making my own up here a little bit. I know they're in there. They have a tear in the in the leaves kind of, which is what I'm doing here. And they're coming up to the branch. Something, something like that. <coughs> jammed in there. Sometimes it's tight space for these birds to fit. You just sort of, just start, start wiggling your, your pencil in there and Again, that's it's all just shadowing. There's a big queen trunk it looks like right through here. That's coming down. So over here somewhere we have somewhere over here we have the fence line. And I don't exactly know where the property line is, the PL, but it's over here somewhere. I'm going to just pull down these trunks of these trees. I'm not too worried exactly about where things are, but just getting the basic thing in there. So that's my guess guesstimate. Somewhere around here. It could be a little higher. Get that angle going. Force perspective kind of has that going on where the divergent lines go. You can see, I can see down here where the bottom of the of it is. There's a boulder over here, but I kind of have an idea that I've got space right there to work with. So this is a fence, and then you have the property line. Keep flipping it back and forth. A lot of palms going on in here, so we'll just keep palming out, man. Again, this whole section, we're going to be pulling those plants away. All of this is just a jungle. You can just see that's a full-on jungle back in there. So this whole space is just basically just dark. Okay, so now we have the edge of the spa, which is right there. So that's coming over. You can see how the how the bricks are all the same size, but they, they shrink as the curve goes around. the edge of the spillway. So I'm just sort of laying that out so I have an idea where the spa is. And now we'll get the edge of the pool right there. And then the edge of the, of the concrete. And I'm not hitting it too hard. It's kind of a light, light touch. 
and you've got the expansion joints coming in. So we want to put a, a waterfall over here. So how a waterfall, a slide rather, over here. So how's that going to all fit? Well, the slide's going to have to be up in the up in the air. It has to be stairs to be able to get to it, and we have to have that path of travel that brings the rider in a circle, you know, half circle or what have you, coming around into the pool. So where would that thing be hitting the pool? So I'm going to throw this thing right in here and just curve it on up. It's going to have a harder turn at the bottom there. And I want that to, I'm going to keep going up. Okay, here's our fence line. How high is this slide going to go? Let's, let's bring this slide up over here. You see how I'm doing that? Real light, real light, not too heavy. We're getting some height out of it. Now it's coming into the pool over here. You can kind of start to see, right? Big curve right here. As it curves up, you can't see it because it's higher. Right? So up here we can have ourselves a nice strong boulder element. And another one as well. So this boulder right here could be coming down. I'm going to take that boulder all the way down lower because of the space we have. So that's going to actually tuck down in past the edge of the spa right here. And that will be right here at the pool. And come in just next to the next to the slide at the spy rather. So there'll need to be some stairs in here, so we're gonna have to figure that out. But in the meantime, we're just kind of hiding it up. We're giving a structural support for the slide on that side. Over here, also like having that irregular shape for a slide. Okay. So the slide's going to be up here, come down. And then we need to get the slide trough dialed in. It's going to come over these rocks. And that's probably going to kick the, uh, it's going to kick it up a bit. So the slide's going to actually be above the pool and drop the rider down a, a ways. And I always put ribs in my slides to, the, to really delineate where the slide is. You can see that center point, the path of travels, down in here somewhere. And I always put a small little line of indicating water. So that's the start of your slide up here on the top. It's coming down. You have another boulder right here. And this one to make a planter, so I'm going to put something else over here. And then one rock that goes down into the pool. And it comes up the side and out. So I've got the edge of the pool I can show. And then the edge of the slide, the bottom edge, I'm going to kick it up a little higher. So that's going to be where the water falls into the pool, right there. I'm going to kick that up a little. So you just adjust it, you just make it fit. <coughs> the top edge of your rockishness can be like that. My, my uh, eraser is a little poopy. Poopy, poopy, doopy. And, uh, and that's kind of going to feather out. <coughs> the rock is going like that. 
and all this we don't need this anymore because we're created a wall of rock a fake rock right over here I'm gonna put a small one sort of a little anchor and that'll help be the location where our our stairs will begin to go a little line in there cart to get the crack thing going yeah there we go get the crack thing going man so over here we could have the stairs and that's just sort of a hint as to where the stairs might be back over there <coughs> so at the edge because it is the side of the slide on this side we're going to do the same thing trying to reference an outer edge and you can feather that down so you're starting to see starting to see how this fits in you can take a piece of paper to uh, help you see how it works, how you're doing. Now you can kind of see, ah, okay, I need, I gotta get organized here, clean up this mess of extra lines that I've got going on everywhere. Because the pool is underneath, the, 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 the deck is underneath there. That's not showing, so you need to get, get rid of that. kind of see that now so there needs to be a bottom edge to this structure so I'll take that out that way and then come across and that can be just some cracking this area right here can be a planter I like to put simple plants I don't make too much of a fuss about it cracks you want to kind of move them around a little bit okay so that's got the slide rolling around the corner take our white sheet out can't see it there so start rolling in the texture of the rock delineating dark shadowy spots people can get an idea oh okay that's the that's the, the shaping this the how it's starting to be flushed out Zig and zag of the pattern, cracks, feature lines. Trying to make up, make up the spaces so it's not all, it's not all the same evenness. Uh, good rock work has asymmetry to it. So now I'm adding in the texture to the rocks in the water feature already. I've got this board kind of locked in, but you certainly can turn the, the shape. You can turn the board on. You can turn these pictures this way if it's easier for you to draw. And I'm just trying to do this with this one direction. The waterfall's kind of coming down. I'm not exactly how sure it goes, but Surely it sur sur surely it comes around and bends and does its thing from somewhere. You can see this is not this 